Hello everyone, it's Monday, June the 1st. Hard to believe we're already in the month of June. It's Pastor Jacques. I trust that you're doing well, that you're being strengthened and encouraged in your own personal faith and walk with the Lord. As you know, we've been doing a series in 1 John, but I paused to focus on some definitions. We, we looked at salvation, we defined election, calling, uh, and on Saturday we looked at <clears throat> the regeneration, what regeneration means. Today I want to focus on a very important word uh, when it comes to our salvation. And remember that salvation includes all of these words. So I don't want you to just think of salvation as forgiveness of sins or the gift of eternal life. Salvation includes everything. Conversion is absolutely critical. Conversion, if we could simply define it, is repentance from sin and faith in Jesus Christ. We can't be saved apart from being converted, right? The sinner needs to acknowledge his sinfulness or her sinfulness before a completely righteous God. So they acknowledge that sinfulness. They're, they turn from that sinful lifestyle, from their sin to Jesus Christ alone, who alone can save, right? And they put their trust in Christ alone. Jesus paid the price on the cross. And so in order to be saved, the sinner needs to repent and believe. That's conversion. Now, notice that in these brief definitions, I put regeneration before conversion, and that's important for us to see. Most people believe you repent and believe and then you're born again. But that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches that we are regenerated. And at the moment that the Spirit gives us new life, at the moment that the Spirit regenerates us or makes us alive, He causes us to repent and believe. He gives us the gifts of repentance and faith in Jesus Christ. And so regeneration precedes conversion in order, but not in time because they're so closely linked to each other that they can't exist without one another. And so in order to be saved, we've got to repent, we've got to believe, we've got to trust in Jesus Christ, but we need to understand that that's only something the Spirit can do inside of us because we're dead in our transgressions and sins, and we need to be made alive by the Spirit. That's why the Apostle Paul says, none is righteous, no, not one. No one understands, no one seeks for God. All have turned aside together, they become worthless no one does good, not even one. And so in order for us to be saved, the Spirit has to do something. He has to regenerate us, and when He regenerates us, we are then immediately converted. We, he gives us the faith to trust in Christ, and He gives us the power to turn away from our sins. So that's conversion. And we'll see tomorrow, by God's grace, that that leads to justification, which is a very important word as well. I love you with all my heart. Continue to run this race. Don't give up. Don't quit. The Lord is with us, guys. His promises are true. I hope you were encouraged by the message yesterday. I mean, I wanted to emphasize uh, the, the importance to trust the Word of God completely. We can believe it. Let's keep on running. We'll talk to you soon. Amen.